Actually, I want you to come here. That's what I thought. Why don't you have a seat right over there, please? Okay. What are you doing here? I just came to hang out, really. You came to hang out? Yeah. And you came to hang out with who? I had a feeling this was what was going on, honestly. You had a feeling what was going on? That this was some sort of setup. A setup. A setup for what? I don't know, and I'll be honest with you, I didn't, I didn't come here for anything physical. I just was bored. I'm going through a divorce. I just wanted to get out of the house, honestly. So you couldn't go to a sports bar to watch a game? or you I've been doing that all weekend, house? man. And so you thought you'd come here to this house? I know it wasn't a good idea from the get-go. Who did you think you were going to meet here? Just this kid I've been talking to. This kid? I know she's a kid. How old? 13, 14. 13. And how old are you? Too old for a 13, 14 year old. Too old. And how old is that? 26. 26. And you thought it was okay to come over here to visit a 13 year old girl home alone? No, I really didn't. But you're here. I know. I don't know why. What's your name? My name's Jim. Jim what? Do I have to say? I'm going to find out. Am I going to get arrested for this? That's not up to me. Are you going to turn me in? Again, that's not up to me. I mean, I really... Fuck. What do you do for a living, Jim? I'd rather not say. Jim? I'd rather not say. Why don't you just tell me what you work? Who do you work for? I'll get to that in a minute. No, I'd, I'd really like to know. I'm sure I'm on TV or something right now. Why don't you just tell me what you do for a living? I'm a teacher. You're a teacher. And what grade do you teach? Sixth grade. Sixth grade. So you teach kids about the same age as the girl you were coming to see. I would never do anything. I don't know why I'm here. Can I go? No, not just yet. Are the police here? Again. Sir, please just tell me. I have some more questions for you. There's nothing I can do to keep you here, but I have some more questions for you. Are the police here? I have to talk to you about some of the things that you said on the internet. Okay. You were on your webcam. Showing off in front of this 13-year-old girl. I know. And the conversation you had with this girl... It was bad. I know. I know. I don't know why. I need help. You're cute, too. Definitely have a pretty face. For jailbait. I knew loud. it was wrong. I knew it was wrong. I'm sorry. I could be your teacher. Would you flirt with me? She says, wink at you and stuff. Hee <laughs> hee, okay. Cute. You'd like that. I'd be flattered. Not like that's a bad thing, innocent enough. I knew I shouldn't have come. I knew I shouldn't have come. I'm sorry, man. I knew it. I... What school do you teach at, Jim? I'm not going to tell you. You're going to find out. I'm going to get arrested, I'm sure. How about St. Margaret of York? That's it. Is that right? Do you coach, too? Not anymore, apparently. You say, I guess I'd like to kiss you. You say, I, I no, guess you know I'd kiss you, know you too, then. Look, dude, I know what I said. I shouldn't have said it. My life just ended completely. Why did you do it? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I have You're no damn up. clue. This was the stupidest thing I've ever done. Just end it, man. This is... Where are you most ticklish? All over. Oh, my Look, God. Dude, uh -huh, I nice. don't care. I know what I said. You don't need it for your You TV. don't care. Oh, I know that. No. All right. Let me phrase that. Please sit I down. Do. No. no. No, no, no. I'd like you to sit down, please. I know you would. I'll tell you. I mean, here's the... I know what I said. I it gets care. a lot worse than yeah, that. Yeah, I know, I know, and I don't want to get into that. If I'm going to be arrested, just please have me arrested. I need help, obviously. Do you do this often? No, this is the first time I've ever done this. This is the first time. You know, because I've heard that a lot. I'm sure you have. I'm sure I'm probably the first like guy to do this. Everybody who comes into this house says it's their first time. I'm sure they do. 
So what were you going to do with this 13-year-old girl? I wasn't really going to... I mean, I called her earlier and said, I'm not really comfortable with this. I didn't, and she kept saying, come on, come on, I'll just hang out. I didn't want to do anything. But you did get in the car I don't and know drive why. here from the Cincinnati. The whole damn way, I was thinking, what am I doing? Why am I just not going home? But still, you yeah, drove here. I don't know. You knocked on the door and you walked in. I know. And I didn't want to. And you're all anxious, wanting to see the girl. Wanting to, she just said, I'm just going to watch a movie. And I said, well, what the hell? I'll, I'll sit there and watch a movie with her. Want to make out. Sure. Look, dude, I mean, I'm sure the police are probably here. I'm going to go. Right now, I totally do it. You want to know why I was doing all that? Honestly, yeah. I am going through a divorce. My wife Thursday told me she was leaving me. I don't know what spawned this. I mean, I was just in an Ohio chat room, an adult chat room, and this was a week or so ago, and she started talking to me. Yeah, but that doesn't make it right for you to I know. have this kind of I know. discussion. And I shouldn't have. Look, I guess... Divorce is tough. Everybody gets that. Yeah, I'm no, not gonna... Nobody's going to make fun of that, right? Well, I'm... Okay, it's not good. On top of that, what kills me right now... On top of the fact that I just blew that part of my life, and I don't even know you, I don't know why I'm, I just ruined the rest of my life. I just lost my job as a teacher. I'm probably going to go to jail. I'm not going to survive in jail. For what? For what? For what? I don't know. Do you, do you have a, a, an issue with the internet? Do you have a compulsion, an addiction? I think I do. I mean, it's not with I mean, this. help me to explain. I don't know. Help me to understand. I've thought about this a lot. For years, maybe I should just stop. Maybe I should get counseling. Maybe I should get help. And now I thought, well, it's not that big a deal. I've never taken it to this step. I don't know if this week has just pushed me over the edge. Look, you're not the first guy to have an issue with the internet and sexually charged conversations. I know. Addictions and compulsions. It's not. I mean, we see it a lot. Instead of me being arrested, is there some way you can help me? Well. I don't know that I can do that. I mean, will, will you give me some of the information here and tell me what exactly is going on? Do you want to know what's going on? Do you ever watch television? Do you ever watch Dateline NBC? Oh, damn, I've seen one of these. You've seen one of these? Yeah. You know, that's, and that was what, one of the reasons I thought, why am I doing this? This could be a setup. I can. But let me get this straight. You've actually seen our previous programs on computer predators. I didn't think I was a predator. I wasn't out. I wasn't coming up here for anything physical. I know I talk. Look, that was, was like fantasy. Here. That was like I fantasy. I know, but everybody says that. But what's going to happen if I'm not here and the 13-year-old girl is? You got all charged up by seeing I know. this I know. gal on the uh, webcam. I know. I don't know why. I Could I you. kiss you anywhere? I'm sorry. That'd but be I fun. Man, you I know it's point and I'd kiss it. I go. Look, there's nothing I can do to keep you here. I'm sure you're going to turn this into the police, right? Well, I'm going to be on that, TV. That, 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 that's not up to me. I mean, we're doing a story. You've seen the stories before. Didn't you think, after seeing the previous stories, I did. that maybe this is something I shouldn't do? That's why I didn't want to come. I really, deep down, thought this is the stupidest idea. I don't know why I'm here. But you I really, know, I know. Nobody was twisting your arm. You're right. You're right. You're 100 percent. You're right. a grown up. Yeah, I don't feel like one right now. I feel like an idiot. I mean, I'm just trying to understand how it gets to this point. You even acknowledge it's wrong here, but I don't want either of us getting into trouble. I know. I knew I could get in a lot of trouble for this. I don't know why I'm here. You talk about Stupid. parking around back. I'm so freaking horny. Yeah, I know. You know, if you had me naked, I'd want more, right? Yeah, I would too. Look, man, you don't have to read it. Your TV got... Everybody that's watching this knows why I'm here. It was stupid. I wasn't really going to do anything. I know, but that's but hard to square with what you said here, I Jim. I really know. And everybody who comes in says, I really wasn't going to do anything. Not and if us. you're going to have this conversation and then come over here and a 13-year-old girl is home alone. I shouldn't have done it. I don't know what I'm here for. The other issue, well, it sounds like what you're here for is well, to have sex with a 13-year-old girl. I wasn't going to have sex with her. I, look, give me a Bible. I swear to God. You know, a lot of people have had religious conversions after walking in here.
Oh, I'm sure, and I'm not that that religious of a guy. And the other... I'll, 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 I'll tell you this. I might have kissed her. I wouldn't have done anything else. You might have kissed her. Might have. I know I shouldn't. And where is that going to lead once you start kissing her? I wouldn't have let it. I'm, I'm honest with you right now. I know nobody watching is going to believe. I wouldn't have done anything else. She is a kid. I knew that when I was coming up here. You're I wasn't going to do anything. I'm an adult. You're a teacher. Yeah, I know. That's a position of trust and leadership in the community. You know how kids think. You know it's a very emotionally charged time for them. I'm not a teacher anymore. I mean, you're equipped to take advantage of somebody that age should you choose to do so. And by coming here today, it certainly appears as though that's exactly what you were trying to do. Divorce or not, I computer problem or not, you know, the experts tell us that, okay, the guy may say, I'm not going to do it this time, maybe not the next time. But sometime it's going to happen. You're right. Can I talk to you off camera? I can't do that. I'm sorry. What's the do you guys have any help for me? There, there are a number of ways to get help, and we're going to get into that in the story. We've got into it in some of the past stories. Is there any way to keep myself off of this thing? We've made no decisions as to who's going to be in or out of the story. We're just getting started. So I, mean, I if, can't. If, I can't if there's some way I do start getting help. I mean, my insurance covers therapy, and that's obviously what I need Look, I, for here, here's obviously here's more than this issue, but another number of things. If I, even if it was something you, I just don't, my life's a wreck right now. On top of this, I don't want this to ruin the rest of my life. Well, I can tell you what, I can give you my card, and you can keep in touch, and we can. I mean, are the, I mean, are the police here? Am I going to be taken out of here in handcuffs right now? I mean, that's not up to me. But that's my card. I'm sorry, Franco. That's my card. That's okay. But that's if okay. you want to call and stay in contact, I mean, even if maybe there's, I don't know, a way that without telling the world that I screwed up royally, that you can maybe do a, you know, hide my identity. I'll even sit down with you, and I can try to get help. All I can tell you right now is because we're just getting started with this, and we're in the middle of it. I, I, wanna... I mean, all I'm saying is that that you can call me. I'll be happy to talk to you as as we continue to put the story together. And, and, you know, that's really all I can tell you at this point. Because I just don't know how it's all going to shape up. And I'm just being straight with you, that's all. I know. So I can't promise you one thing or another. I promise you a lot right now. Well, I'm, I understand. I'm ever, and I'm a lot of people help. promise I know. And I, you know what? In the last one I saw, the, the guy was dumb enough that he came here. The next damn day he went and tried to do it again. I'm not that stupid. I don't know why I'm here. I need help. But, I, I you know what? You're right. I'm a teacher. And I don't do it because I'm some... Pervert, I love teaching. I love kids. It's the only thing I've ever loved. I don't know what the hell. I don't know why I'm here. And you asked me if I coach. Yeah, I coach. And not because I was trying to find a damn date or get. It's because I like working with those people. I like teaching kids. And I don't know what I'm doing here. I know you've heard this. Hell, I've seen people sit here and say the same stuff. But what does it say? It doesn't say much for me. I'm, I know about the fact that you were suspicious, you had seen our previous stories, probably got a chuckle out of what happened to some of these guys. Yeah, and honestly, I sat there and watched and thought, those guys are sick. Why would you do that? And that was, what, a month, a month and a half ago? And then, here I am. But what does it say about your issue that you would watch the program, I don't pass know. judgment on the guys in that show, and, and then show up here yourself? I'm obviously a hypocrite. I'm sorry, Mr. Hanson. I'm sorry, all you guys. I'm sorry if this does end up on air. I'm sorry. Everybody else that sees this, don't do it. I mean, that's why I said I don't... If there's any way I can get help, if I can show you I've gotten help, if I can show you that it's helping me, I mean, all I can tell you is that, you know, I, I, you know let me know what's going on. I mean, I, I mean, that's my number. That's my email. I mean, how much trouble am I in if you do turn this into the police? Well, the, the, that, see, that's not up to me. I mean, but, I mean, I, you I, know? But, I mean, I don't I, even know. I mean, I, all I'm involved in is, is the story. So is anybody what, here know? 
Now you guys aren't allowed to no, camera. Because they, they, they're, they're all involved in the story, too. The, the law enforcement part is, is something that's separate and that, that I don't control. I mean, I know I've seen some of them that, I, don't, I could be wrong. I watched bits and pieces of it. We talked about it, and I, like I said, I thought, what the hell's wrong with these people? Did you talk about it in school? Yeah, we talked about it with the other teachers. We, a lot of us had seen it, and we thought, why would you do that? We all, we all, and so this, th these stories have been a topic of discussion at the school where you teach. And then here I am. And then here you are. What are you going to say to those other teachers? I don't know. I have no idea. That's. I can't. I don't know what I'll, I'll do. I don't want you to think I'm a monster. I'm not. I'm really not. I don't think. I didn't think I was anyway. Maybe I am. But you're here. Drove two hours to get here. You know, I even... Plenty of time to... I was this close, honestly, to just going to the Bright Pat Air Force Museum. I was this close. I thought, you know, what am I doing? What am I... Why, why am I doing this? I thought, I'll go there. Or I saw some tourist something on whatever state route I was on. I even thought, hell, while I'm here, I'll go to the place I bought my, I bought my car here, believe it or not. And see if they've got the key they never gave me. I had so many things cross my mind that I, what I should be doing. And I, it's like I was thinking no, but I just did it anyway. I don't know why. I mean, was it like some... Can I drink this? Yes, you may. I can't. I'm getting dry. Obviously. Are you suggesting that you couldn't control yourself? Apparently not. I don't know... And I'm not trying to make excuses. I know it sounds like that. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I've always talked to people online, but and I've never done anything like this. I don't. You're right. It's like I couldn't control myself. I'm not trying to make excuses. I don't know if I've just shut down this week. I'm. I, I am going about to go through a divorce. I wouldn't. I, I know I wouldn't be here. If it, was, wasn't for that. if it wasn't for that, I can honestly say that because I wouldn't have, you know, wanted to hurt my wife and ex-wife now. And I think maybe I just said, what the hell, I've got nothing else to lose right now. And obviously, <laughs> I really didn't think that one through because I'm pretty sure this is going to cost me the rest of everything I know. But, you know, you look like a guy who's got it together. Who could go out and, and be social and, 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 and talk to women your age? I, I try. Have buddies? I don't know why I'm here. Jesus. I mean, was it the allure of... I don't know. Of, I really, honestly, and you're right... Of some forbidden could be. fantasy? Is that what's going it. on? I mean, I don't want to put words in your mouth. You know, I don't and, know, and Chris, I'm, not, and I'm not trying to be Mr. a hard guy about it. I know. But, but I'm just trying to understand it, that's all. I know. I don't... You know what? I wish I understood it. I don't know if it was, like you said, just because it was forbidden, or, I don't know. I wish I could tell you. Because I the law is very clear on a 13-year-old. Yeah. I mean, just the chat. Probably wasn't a good idea. Illegal. Is it really? Against the law. Just to talk to somebody? I mean, with, to, to, to oh, solicit with sex. for sex. But I wasn't soliciting for well, sex. I know, I really but I'm not the prosecutor, I'm not the police. But I'm just saying, you know what you said. It was well, sexually charged. Will you turn in all this stuff to him too? We're, we're really, we're really gathering this for a story. Law enforcement does what law enforcement does. We do what we do. So you just give them like that? I, 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 personally, I like, personally don't. I mean, this is we use this for the story, and you know that the law enforcement part of it is something just, totally separate. Like I said, my life is pretty much going to <laughs> right now, and I, I hate the fact that I just made an even bigger mistake and probably just cost myself everything else. My friends, trust, my job. I just want to get help and I know that's probably not going to happen. But I just, I wish I could, well I wish I wouldn't have done something stupid like this, but I wish I could just find help. Well help is out there. That's why I wish, I mean, and I'll, if I don't end up in jail, I hope I don't end up in jail.
for this stupid mistake. I don't want to throw away my life or something. Have you ever gone to visit somebody who's underage before? No. Have you ever chatted with somebody who's underage before on the internet? I have. And like yeah. I said, I don't know if it was just the kind of allure and the fantasy. So how many times do you figure you've done that in the past? Oh, I don't know. I mean, the internet's been around since I was that age. And I guess as I grew up, I just, you know, I would chat and things like that. Probably more than I should have. I don't know. But, I mean, no, I've... Like I, I know you said, and I, I saw it on the damn show. Every one of them walked in, and I'm sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll watch my language. Um, every one of them walked in. I've never done this, and I'm sure some of them had. I really haven't. I don't know why I did it. But you have chatted with underage I have, kids, but never with the intention that I was really going to do something. And then today it was like, but these conversations were sexual in nature. Yeah, sometimes, and that's one of the things. Like I, I said, I think it was before these guys even came out. I know it was, actually. I've thought many times, how do I stop this? How do I get... And I, I guess... Not like this isn't embarrassing as hell. But I was always just too embarrassed to even go talk to a counselor or talk to a therapist and say, look, I think I've got a problem. Here's what I do. Why? How do I fix this? How do I help myself? I mean, how often do you figure that you've talked to somebody who's underage? This age, not. I mean, like I said, I was, just, I was, in, I was in an adult room... I was talking to people that were 20, 25, and I was just clicking on random names and, you know, just chatting with girls, guys, I mean, not, not sexually, usually. And I clicked on hers, and we started talking, and I even think at first, I was like, oh, I was a little young, and I know I've been trying not to do that. I really have. I thought, well, it's innocent enough. We're just chatting about stupid stuff, whatever, no big deal. I mean, I do the same thing at school. But it, it almost appears, if you look at this, like there was a grooming process. Like you were trying you know, to I remember you said that, and I even, I've, I've examined, do I do that? I mean, is that what I'm doing when I'm on here? I, I remember hearing that and thinking, is that me? Is that what I'm doing? I, I didn't think of it like that. I don't, I don't know how many studies hmm. there have been on how, obviously, I'm something I didn't think I was. But as, I don't, a, as a teacher, obviously, you read the I stuff know. about making sure kids don't fall prey to stuff like don't. this. I don't. Right? In school, I've never, ever crossed that line, ever. I've never even considered it when I was with kids. But I'm, I, I, I'm, not, I I'm not even suggesting that. What I am suggesting is, as a teacher, you're exposed to the material that explains how this can happen, what to look for in your students to make sure they don't fall prey to this sort of thing, and here you are involved in this kind of activity. God, I don't know how I'm going to tell anybody. I wish I didn't have to. Why am I here? I mean, if you saw the stories, and you're up on the material, and you realize the danger, that must say something about the allure at least for you, of this sort of activity. And again, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. Yeah. I'm just trying to get it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about... Oh, Jesus, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know why I did it. Like I said, I've never, ever crossed a line like that with a, a, a person that I was a student, ever. Not even thought about it. I guess maybe it was just like online, it was like they weren't real. It's all pretend. That's kind of what it feels like, I think. But it was real when you walked in that door. Oh, yeah. And I mean, I, like I said, I'd seen, has, hasn't there, have, haven't there been two of these? Or just one? Three. Three? I'd seen them. I knew that was a possibility. And I thought, why would I throw my life away for this? And I just kept driving. I don't know why. I wish I could tell you. I wish I could tell America. I wish I could tell... Everybody that I'm going to have to tell. What do you say to other men your age who are now in chat rooms talking to girls, underage girls? What do you say to them? What would I say, having been here? I mean, yeah. Why are you doing this? I, 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 and I, I can't say I don't feel really hypocritical, but I would be like, you know, look, you need to step back and figure out what your intentions are. Is this worth it? And for what? I mean, I, I, I'm serious. I know that doesn't look good. Honestly, 
on the way I thought, you know what, I'll just hang out, watch a movie, and go home. I don't it's want It's a long it. way to drive to hang out and watch You're a right. movie. You're right, and I know, it, like I said, it doesn't look good. It sounds like I'm just full of BS. But I thought, you know, she's a kid. She's half my age. I'm not going to do something like that to her. And I know, I mean, everybody out there is going to think I'm a fool of it, but that's really the whole way up here, back and forth again. Why should I just turn around? Should I go somewhere else? Should I just go, you know, pull over and cry because my life's crap right now? And, and then... I am. But what would I say? I, I don't know. Why, why are you here? Have you really thought about this? Have you thought about the consequences for yourself? Have you thought about the consequences if you guys weren't here? What could have happened? Even if, the, even if it hadn't been this, even if, even if nothing had happened, I could have messed her life up. I mean... You know how vulnerable a 13-year-old yeah, kid can be. You got him like I car. said, I don't ever, I don't know if it was the internet, like I said, it just, I think something about it, even when I was, when I was that age, it was like it wasn't real. I'm talking to people that it's, you know, it's people you don't know, you can chat about politics or cars or sports or obviously sex, but it's like it's not real. You know, if they get mad or you get mad at them, you never have to see them again. And I don't know what, I don't, want, I, I don't want to sound like I'm making excuses. I don't know if it was just that this week pushed me over the edge, and that's why I crossed this line. I really never have just driven to meet a 13-year-old before. Why would I? But I don't know why I'm here. I don't know what made me do it. Well, will you do me a favor? Will you, you keep me posted? I will. All right. I mean, I mean that's that's my number, right? Mr. Hanson, I'm serious. If I'm, I appreciate that, that's if, why I asked you to. Do. I don't, and I know it's not up to you. It's going to be up to your producers. I'm serious, and I'm going to get help. I know you hear that probably from every single schmuck that walks through that door. That I'm going to get help, and like I said, I even saw that 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 idiot got and tried again the next day. I, and I don't know if that's even going to happen. I don't know if I should even go home and call my parents. Call my lawyer, call my principal, and say, I'm sorry, I don't think I'm going to be able to. I've never thought about it with those kids. I've never, I never would have crossed that line with any of them because they're real to me. I see their emotions. I see, I don't want to throw that away, and I'm afraid I just did. But if, if there's any way that I can help you and that if, if the police, the prosecutor, your, your bosses, and I know it's not up to you, could, like I said, even if you'd hide my identity, you can use my words if you spew my voice. I don't know. It's, and then even do a follow-up. Interview me. I'll, I'll, I'll start talking to someone. Hell, I'm sitting here doing it. What could be on national television, I guess I can now do it with a therapist. You wish you had done it before with a the therapist oh. instead of sitting here with me? And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I'm not kidding. I've thought about that more than once. I mean, I guess I could have been like the other guys and taken off running. But then I guess I wouldn't have gotten to tell my side of why I'm here. You would have known who I was anyway, and it would have probably been worse. I have thought about, I'll be, honest, I'll be frank, I mean, since I was probably 20, 21, and of course then, you know, it was, you know, I'm 20, she's 17, I'm chatting for no big deal. It was like I kept getting older, and then, Kids you know, it's get cliche, younger. they got younger, they stayed the same age, and... You know, 99.9% .9 of the people I would even talk to on there are 19, 20, 21 at the youngest. But it was the other ones that I always thought, well, why am I, why am I chatting? And the fact that many a times I thought, I'm married, why am I chatting to women anyway? Maybe I should talk to somebody. And I always thought, I just can't put that out there in front couldn't of a therapist. I, yeah, I couldn't admit it to myself, and I, don't, I, didn't, I, I couldn't admit it to a stranger. And now here I am. I just hope it's not too late for me. I know America, if this makes it on, is going to think that you know, I should never be within a mile of a kid again. And I'm sorry. From the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry. And I've honestly, especially the parents of the kids that are probably going to see this that know me, 
I never thought about it with one of them. Never. Never would have done it. I mean, hell, nobody at school even knows I'm, except my principal and a couple of my close friends, knows I'm getting divorced. What do you think they're going to say at school? I think they'll be surprised. Because I'm not... This isn't me. I don't know. I hope they're surprised. I don't... But I guess the question that some people might ask is this. If you eventually evolve to the point where you'd come here to meet a 13-year-old girl after this kind of conversation, at what point do you suddenly become interested in kids in, in the school you teach? Right. right? It's a legitimate question. That's why I want help. Maybe, I don't know. You've seen this a lot of times. What do I do now? Well, I'm not in the business of giving... You're not a, a person that gives psychiatric advice. Psychiatric advice, but, but, but I think if you were to inquire anywhere, just like you would if you were feeling you were ill in any other way, they would probably help you. But what do I do with that? I mean, do I, like I said, do I go home and... And call my boss and say, I can't come in anymore? But th th those are things that I just can't. I know. I'm not in a position to give you advice on. Now, now I, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you shedding light on this situation because I think it's helpful in a number of different ways. And again, I'm being serious about this. That's my number and that's my email. And keep me posted as to how things are going. And, and I'm willing to have a, a, a continuing discussion with you in terms of what's going to be in the story or not in the story. We're just starting, so I can't. I mean, when is this thing supposed to air and all that? that? You know, those things are going to be decided once we get the story together, and it's not done yet. So, I mean, if, like I said, you know, if you want to keep in touch with me, I, as I know that information, I'm going to share it with you. It's, I'm not going to hide it from you, you know. I know. So, you know, I'm just being as straight up about it as I can. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, a lot of those guys came in here, and I know there was one that was like a rabbi, and it was... Mm -hmm. And a lot of those guys were in a position that they were with kids. And I feel like, as much as I love my job, and as embarrassing and as hard as it's going to be to tell anyone, I don't know if I should go back and put myself there. But like I said, it's the only thing I've ever loved, teaching. It's the only thing I've ever been good at. And I hate to throw that all away for a stupid freaking mistake. And something that I, I really did go back and forth on so much. This tortured you. It really did. I mean, I know some of those guys were like, heck yeah, gung-ho, I'm in, and probably a lot of them had done it before. And I'm sure some of them hadn't. Some of them were probably in my boat that it was just like a mistake. Well, Jim, I appreciate that. I'm sorry. And tell that kid I'm sorry, too. All right? I will. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm sorry. Is that still on? Yeah. I'm sorry. I really am. If anybody that I know sees this, I am sorry. Don't think of me as a monster. I'm not. I made a mistake. Do me a favor. I'm going to close your eyes. I mean, am I supposed to leave now, or should I? Yeah, no, you're free to leave. Yeah. I mean, if you want to take the water, you can take the water. All right. Sorry, guys.
talk to a lawyer and have them present with you while you're being questioned. Do you understand that? Sir? If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand? Yes, sir. If you can decide, or you can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not to answer any questions or make any statements, do you understand? Um, what was the uh, screen name of the person you was talking to? Do you remember? I really actually don't know. Let's say Princess Danica. Yeah, Does that sound familiar? Oh, that's it. Are you guys, should I have my lawyer? Uh, that I cannot answer for you. You do have a right to an attorney, as you're advised in your rights. <clears throat> did did they ever advise what what name did you think her real name was? It was Danica. Danica. Yeah. Okay. How old did you believe this female to be? I think she said thirteen or fourteen. I couldn't remember. Okay. Um, I guess the first question I'll ask you is what brought you to the address on 5K Avenue? I don't know. I don't know. What was you, what did you believe was going to happen when you got there? Honestly, nothing. Okay. I, I had decided long ago that I wasn't going to do anything physical with the kid. Mm -hmm. I really did. I know that's probably hard for you to believe, but I didn't even really want to come. I told the guy over there, I don't know why I was coming. I, my, my mind's only stopped. She's a kid. I am a teacher. I've never done anything like this before. And I just kept driving. But I decided long before I got here that I'm not going to do anything with her. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to touch her. I'm not going to violate her. She's a kid. Mm -hmm. But in your log, you I talked know. about performing sexual acts together. Is that I right? I talked about kissing. Mm -hmm. and I talked about kissing. Okay. Anything else? I don't think. I don't know. I know I you talked that. about her dressing slutty and that she was a virgin. Is that right? Did I? Yeah. I didn't remember asking that, honestly. You told her that you'd show her your butt. That trick? I really don't remember, sir. Okay. I know it was wrong. She said quite a few things, mm -hmm. but I don't think I ever said anything beyond what I just told you. Mm -hmm. You did. Did I? Mm -hmm. What did I say? I'm going to tell you in just a minute. Okay, you're talking about... You asked her if she'd make you take your shirt off. Yeah. And that you said you wanted to take hers off. And that you would get to see her with her shirt off. And then you asked her if she would want you to take anything else off. And you talked to her about letting her see more on your cam. That you really thought about sending more. That you was going to be naughty. And then down here you had what she was wearing. She says jean and tank tops. You said cute. And then you had anything else? She said socks. 
And you laughed out loud. And then she said underwear, and then you asked, no panties? And then you said, oh, okay. So you're wondering what kind of clothes this 13-year-old kid's wearing. Asking her if she's horny. Telling her that you're horny. I guess my question to you is, throughout this whole thing and the talking um, and things that you said, there's pretty much a belief that you guys were going to kiss, get naked, and then it could lead elsewhere. Not really. Not really? You didn't take that by what you put in here? Sir, I never intended when I was saying all that to actually come up here today. But you did come up here? Yes, sir. Okay. And I didn't. So whether you made an it. intent to come up here or not, I know, I know it's you still type this stuff, right? Yes, sir. And you had the belief that if you come up here, there was a chance that you guys were going to have sex. I wasn't going to have sex with her, sir. In okay. fact, I don't think she mentioned it. I said, you mean sex. So you're telling me you didn't believe one bit you were going to come up here and have sex no, with No, sir, I did not. No, sir. I know it looks like that, I'm sure. But no, sir. Or not. So if you didn't think you're coming up here to have sex, what do you think you're coming up here for? Honestly, and I, I know you guys haven't seen what I discussed with Mr. Gaffer in DC. Mm -hmm. I I don't know why I decided to come up. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be saying this without a lawyer, but I, I don't know. I decided long before I even got here though that I wasn't gonna do anything physical with her. But before you made that decision there was a belief that something physical was going to happen, even though you changed your mind. No, sir. And you said that. In fact, I wasn't. You even changed gonna, your mind. I wasn't even going to come up, and I even called her. Why did you come? I don't know. I even called her and said, you know, I'm not really comfortable with this. You're way too young. And she said, come anyway. We'll just hang out. I don't know if you guys have logs on my phone calls, but that's that is what happened. I in fact turned around and was heading home, and I said, I don't think I'm going to come. I don't feel comfortable with this. I mean, I don't know if you can check that or not. And she said, no, come up, we'll have fun. I'm, I was just looking forward to hanging out, whatever. And I went home and thought, this is dumb, I shouldn't go. But if I drive up and just hang out, I'm not going to do anything. I'll drive home. What did you anticipate you were going to have a couple with this girl? I don't know. That's one of the reasons why I didn't know why I was coming. I mean, judging by what you guys chatted with, Looks to me like there's only one reason, only one thing you could have in common with this girl. That wasn't, I mean, we didn't start off, at least, I don't even know when I met that girl. It was just randomly in an Ohio adult room. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I even said, you know, I'm a lot older than you. I don't know. I mean, do you think you'd have anything in common with this girl? Is this a girl you wanted to date? No. I didn't even want anything physical by the time I got here, sir. And she's 13. I didn't want to date her. I didn't. I mean, obviously, obviously there were sexual thoughts. True. I'm all. I mean, by what you say. What you typed. I mean, that, that's. You know, obviously, but. When, yes, sir, at what I point did you, did you lose those thoughts? I mean, at what point did you think that those thoughts were? When it became real, when I was coming up here, I thought this is not. A good idea. So you were like halfway here and thought, what yeah, we're doing? In fact, or? I told the guys over there, I almost turned off and just went to the date in Air Force Museum. I think I just... Was that about when you started thinking, this is a bad idea? No, no. And as soon as she said it yesterday, I thought, uh, I mean, on the internet, it's almost like it's a fantasy, like it's not real, I think. Mm -hmm. And it kind of got real. And I thought, what? I don't even want to. That's stupid. And... I don't know why I decided to come. 
it, I didn't really want to. They must want to somewhat, or else it wouldn't be here now, right? I think it was just, I, I don't know, I'm going, it's, it, uh, it won't matter to you, but I actually just found out a couple of days ago I'm getting divorced. Um, and I'm just trying, trying to stay out of the house and stay busy, and I think I was just, I had nothing else to do today. I thought, well, I'll drive up there if nothing else, and if I, I even thought maybe I'll get here and turn around. But if nothing else, it was a couple hours, I could just be out of the house, driving my car, whatever. And here you talk about that you'd love to see you. see her and like bra and panties. Yeah, I remember saying that. Hmm? I remember saying that. Okay. I think I said you yep. did something about her laying on top of me. Yep. You said you like her said, laying on top of you, kissing you. That was like kind of grinding. That was like a an online fantasy. I never really intended for it to happen. I know you're. But not. you had fantasies that there was sex with those. Not sex, no sir. No ones. sir. I don't. I never said let's let's have sex. So. Well, I guess I don't understand why a gentleman. How old are you? Twenty six. Twenty six. School teacher would even have any. Any thought of wanting to meet a 13 year old girl? You know what? And go hang out. You know what? I don't either. I told those guys over there. Why a 26 year old male would type the things that he taught to a 13 year old girl asking her? I don't know, sir. Listen to me a minute. Asking her what she was wearing, if she's wet. Um, talking about her wearing her bra. Or laying on top of you, you guys grinding. That's know. things that a 26-year-old male does not say to a 13-year-old kid. Mm -hmm. Unless you have ideas or thoughts that sexual acts could happen. Sir, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I okay, with you, with you hearing everything I told you, <clears throat> would you believe that the thought was? Oh, I know. If I was in your shoes, hell no, I wouldn't believe a word I'm saying. You would believe that. Your, yeah, eyes, was, your whole plan was to come up here and have sex. Yeah, I, if I was you, yes, sir. No doubt. No doubt. Okay. But that's not... That really wasn't my intention. Well, I guess I still don't figure and understand your intention. You still come to the house. Yes, sir. You still didn't turn sorry. around. You didn't drive away. I don't know why. You came I to the house anyway. I should have. And I didn't. I don't know why. I wasn't going to have sex. I wasn't even going to touch her. So what was your intention when you got here? What was you going to do? I mean, I called her and she's like, I'm just going to watch a movie. I was like, oh, whatever, I'll watch a movie with her. I mean, up until that point, I still hadn't decided if I was in it. And you knew she was home alone. Is that correct? Yeah, I think she said that. So. Okay. So all this put together, I mean, you just... I know it doesn't look good. You expect good. me to believe that nothing was going to happen or you didn't want to want anything Do I to expect happen? you to believe it? You believe what you want, frankly. Did you have any remote belief or fantasy that something would happen? Sir, I'm wrong, You kids. did earlier prior. Sir, online, it doesn't seem real. It's like I'm talking to people that aren't real. But online, you still know that she's a 13-year-old female. Like I said, So sir. why, even if it's not real, would you say those things to a 13-year-old female? It's all f***ed up in the head, apparently. That's the only explanation I can give you, is that I... Have you ever talked to a minor before on the internet? I'd rather not answer that, sir. Have you ever had any prior charges no, of sir. anything? No, sir. And I've never done this before. Okay. I've never met a minor. I don't know... Have you chatted with a minor before? So, uh, yes, I have. Okay. How many times? I have no idea. The internet's been around since I was a minor. Okay. When you say you have no idea, so you're saying many times you've I chatted know. with I minors. I chat with whoever on there. Okay. I mean, I just hang out. But and you have chat chatted with minors yes, sir. of what age? I don't know. 13 year olds before? Probably. 12 year olds? I don't, I don't like going out low on kids. So you stay 13. Usually, and have you ever met sir, the um, stuff you've mentioned in here before? Sir, usually when I chat to people, they're 18, 19, 20 years old. Closer to my age. Okay. But it's not the first time you chatted with a 13-year-old. Sir, no, it's not. And have you made sexual comments to these others? Yes, sir. You have? Okay. 
And have you ever met with them? No, sir. Never. Is it more of a, you say these things because you want to excite yourself to fulfill your needs while you're there? You fantasize while you're sitting there of what you could be doing with this, even though you're on the other side of the computer. You're saying these things to gratify yourself. Yeah, there was never any intention to cross that line any any time. Even yesterday, I know it. Okay. But I guess I just... I know. I'm, I'm here to help you, okay? I hope you can. And, and I think you do have a problem. Obviously. And you've admitted that, okay? That you have talked to minors before, 13 years of age. That you say the things you say because of your sexual gratification. Do you masturbate while you're doing this? Sometimes. Okay. I have, yeah. So you're so driven by this, okay? That's certain. It's not okay, like... Okay, just listen to me, man. No, no okay. I think I, I feel like I should at least tell you. It's not like it's... I go on there specifically looking for little kids. Okay. And I'm not saying that's all you look for. Okay. But you're doing this, okay? So your sexual gratification. You say you know it's wrong. But what concerns me is you go ahead and drive up here knowing this 13-year-old is home alone by herself. Her parents are not around. You admit to writing the things in here and getting your sexual gratification out of it at home, but you expect me to believe that you didn't have any beliefs of anything. You know, I almost, a visitor. <laughs> I almost called her and said, you know, what are you doing? Why are you inviting a 26-year-old guy to your house? Okay. That crossed my mind. But almost and doing are two different oh, things, and you still went through with it. I know. You still come to visit her. You pull right in, you walk right in to go see her. Yes, sir. The only way we can help you is, I mean, for you to be honest. How are you going to help me, sir? What we can talk you with do? our prosecutor and everything else. I know what even I was doing. Even though you're pretty much doing everything and saying the things you're saying for your gratification at home. Exactly. I know there's things that I shouldn't have done in the past on the Internet. Um, as far as? Chatting with people. Other minors. Other minors. Seeing them on camera. Have you ever sent sent nude pictures or anything of yourself? I've been on camera before. Okay, nude. Yes, but that wasn't. It was usually for older people. Okay. But is there a remote possibility you've ever sent a nude picture to a minor? It's possible. Some people might lie about their age too. Okay. I and mean, I know her. I think I, you know, I just she's she told me with my shirt off and stuff. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. She never told me naked. What what are these pills that you have with you? They're just Advil. I had, I went out last night and I had a headache. They're just Advil? Yes, sir. It's a generic wall profen or something. Okay. Do you have any pictures or anything on your phone? No, it's not even a camera phone. Is it a camera? You care if I look? Go ahead. Like I said, I wasn't intended on really doing anything. Any uh, pornographic pictures? No, sir. Okay. You mind if we take a look through that then? Go ahead. You search my phone. It's fine. Okay. Say it's 98. Yes, sir. Did anybody else know that you were coming up here today? Just you? And it, have you ever had any phone conversation with, with who you believe, Danica? Just today. It was the first time I ever talked to you. Today uh, on your way up here? No, even before that, this morning, I called her and said, I don't know if I'm going to come or not. I don't really think it's, and like I said, I even turned around once and called her and said, I don't really feel comfortable with this. But you still come? 
Well, she said, well, come and we'll just hang out. Well, well, if we're just hanging out... Do you think it's right for a 26-year-old to hang out with a 13-year-old child? Even if it's just sitting just and watching out, a watching movie? Him. No, probably not. And you came from... Mainville. Mainville. Cincinnati. That was Cincinnati. So, do you feel that's odd? A 26-year-old man drives all the way from Cincinnati up here to sit and watch a movie with a 13-year-old? Oh, yeah. I'm not saying I don't need help. I'm not saying there's not something wrong with me. What do you think is wrong with you? I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I've done that stuff. I've thought about getting help in the past, and I honestly just never thought I could open up to a stranger, a psychiatrist. So how long have you been doing this? Well, like I said, I mean, the Internet's been around since I was 12, 13. I've always chatted on there. But how long have you think you've been I chatting with I minors? Can't I can't give oh, yeah. you specifics. I guess, since, gratification. I guess since Last year, I was no yeah. longer a minor, I mean, I've always chatted to people. It wasn't always minors. Right. I don't know. I can't give you any specific dates, honestly. I'm not going to lie and um, I've chatted to... Do you enjoy talking to the minor, though, for your gratification? It wasn't just the minors. It was just girls in general. Okay. So, either it's a minor or a female, but it's to get your gratification. Basically, that's all it was for, sir. It was personal. It wasn't that I wanted anything else, ever. Okay. But the concern we have is that you've come all the way from Cincinnati. I know. I know. After everything you said for your gratification. I know it doesn't look good. You've come all the way up here and you've met or tried to meet with a 13-year-old. Yeah. I can't, uh, I can't explain it. I wish I could. I wish I knew why I was like this and what was wrong with me. I really had thought about getting help in the past, and I thought maybe I had gotten over some of that. In fact, I, mean, I, I deleted a lot of people that I chatted to once in a while. I stopped getting on there for a while, and then I started up again. I thought I could beat it on my own and just, apparently I just didn't have the willpower, sir. I mean, when you get online with these people and you start talking, what's it make you want to do? Nothing. I mean, I have never, ever crossed the line with one of my students or anything. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's never even really crossed my mind. Have you ever chatted with one of your students? No, no, no. Never, never would have done anything to any of them, never would have ever, and, you know, attempted it. I think, really, when it was online, it was more of a fantasy, like, this isn't real. But in real life, I never wanted that. And even today, I don't know why I came up. I don't know what made me do it. I wish I could tell you. I know you probably think I'm full of So if you would have got here and you would have walked in... And there's a 13-year-old girl standing there in her bra and panties. What would have happened? What would you have done? That's speculative. I don't know. I didn't think that was going to happen. You didn't think that? No, sir. Please understand. It's in your chat log, isn't it? So you can't tell me you didn't have a belief that that could have happened. Am I correct? It was Listerine strips. Uh... You know, it crossed my mind. There was a thought there that that could But happen. I didn't think it was going to. Okay. And I didn't want it to. You got to believe me on that. I didn't want to have sex with her. I didn't even want to kiss her. I didn't really want to do anything. I just wanted to hang out with somebody to take my mind off of my life right now. I just wanted to hang out with somebody that I could talk to. I mean, when I met the girl, I told her, you know, I'm married. And then this week, I was venting to her about, well, whoever I was talking to, about getting a divorce. I mean, I just, I don't know. I know that sounds like bull, but, and your question, I don't know. I don't know if that's a fair question. That's not really what I thought was going to end up happening. But my question to you is, what if you come up here and we weren't here? And they weren't doing what they were doing, and there was actually a 13-year-old girl in that house. 
that was waiting on you and just your bras and just your panties? I'm telling you, bottom of my heart, I wouldn't have done anything. I've never done something like that with a kid. You've never done something like that. I know you're you saying, went ahead and I come know. up here. The studies show that, you know, one thing leads to another with sexual predators. Apparently that's what I am. I never thought I was. I wouldn't know. Like I said, I don't know why I'm here. On your whole way up, on your whole drive up here, when you're thinking about all this, are you thinking to yourself, man, if I show up here and she's like this, what's going to happen? Or did you play this through your mind? I mean, you're telling yourself, I didn't want to do this. I'm telling myself. But by knowing you this, you know what? You Listen to me. You know what you're saying to her. You know what she's saying to you. You can't tell me that's not going through your mind the whole way up here from Cincinnati. Yes, sir. It was. Lots of different things went through my mind. What was going through your mind? And the conclusion I always came to was, I am not going to touch this kid. Okay. But what else was going through your mind? What do you mean? I mean, what else... You're thinking about what she told you, how she's going to be dressed, or things you're going yeah, to do? Me what, actually, I guess she did, but uh, I wasn't going to. There was a belief that she could have been in her rolls and panties, no. am I correct? She never said she was going to greet me in her underwear. Okay, but you talk about getting on top of each yes, other, I not know. having shirts on, uh, grinding on each other. That was on there. That wasn't what I was going to do in real life. Okay, but there's that... Chance that that could have happened, right? No. 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 I'm, I, I know you're looking at me and thinking I'm full of it. But if you showed no. up and walked through that door and there's no. a 13 year old like that, no. There wouldn't have never been a chance for that to happen. Sir, no. I'm telling you right now. You, I mean, you're asking me. Don't, don't try to make me tell you something that's not true. No. The whole way up here, I thought if, if something she, she tries, to, I'm not going to do it. It's not right. It's real life, and it's not going to happen. I'm, I know you don't believe me, but no. I'm sorry. No. So what, you were right in there. Was that right? Oh, hell no. Obviously not. That. But you did that anyway. Yes. And then you're on your way up here. So you came halfway on that one. I wasn't going to To make the trip up here. You oh, see what I'm saying? I don't. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, why, why even put yourself in that situation? Why did you even drive all the way up here? In fact, I wondered if this was some such setup the second she said it. I thought I'd be a fool to put myself in that situation. And I'm a fool. Alright. Was there anything else you think you need to tell us or let us know about? Where's where's the computer at that you're using to chat back and forth? In my house. Okay. And right now you live there by yourself? Yeah, my wife moved out. Okay. Why? Why do I want to know where your computer is at? I'm just asking where where you was at at the time when you were doing this. Um I don't think we're gonna take this right up on there as far as pictures. So I don't need that. Okay. And now what? Huh? Now what? Why not? 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 Why there's no new pictures of any matter underage. Honestly, I don't. Worry. Did you talk to a couple of people on there? I mean, there might be an underwear or something. I don't think there's any. I could be wrong. I I don't think I've ever had anything or kept anything like that. Okay. Have you received that? Well, like people have sent it, and I always just said no, deleted. Okay. Um. Any any. I hope not. Okay. Maybe, but I don't think. Are you like 50-50 on that? Probably. So there's a possibility. probably a decent chance that there is. I mean, you're kind of coin, to coin toss at this point. Yeah. Okay. If there is, I don't know. Is there any minors? 
on there. That's what I said. I mean, there are probably people that are minors. I don't think there's any nude pictures. I mean, it's just all this is a picture of me. Okay. Some of them have sent provocative pictures, like That's underwear and things. Okay. It might be on there. I don't think. And these are minors that have sent you this? Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, I'm telling you, it was probably two months ago. I said, I don't know what I'm doing. And I had pictures at that time and stuff, and I deleted everything, deleted all the people off my friends list. I said, I've got to quit doing this. I'm hurting myself, and I'm going to hurt somebody else. And I just wasn't strong enough to not do it. How many minors have you been talking with here? I don't know. When you deleted everything, how many minors were you talking to at that time? I don't know. Five, ten, fifteen? I don't know. More? I don't know. I mean, usually I only talk to a person once or twice and then never talk to them again. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like I had ongoing relationships with anybody except a couple of people that I've talked to for years. Mm -hmm. But Is there anything in your vehicle we need to know about? No, sir. Nothing. You don't have anything hidden in there anywhere or anything like that? No, sir. Okay. And you're going to give us consent to search that, is that correct? Yes, sir. Do you know your license plate number? No, I don't. You call. You need it. Yeah, call Corey, see if you can get that. It's his turn. We'll ask you to sign here the permission to search the screen of your vehicle, okay? You said that the roof should only find anything in there, though, right? Okay. Did your wife know that you had this problem? she know that you talked to minors or anything? No, this had nothing to do with the little concern. Okay. That's why I wanted to stop. It's for her. One of the biggest reasons. So you're making it sound like, and I'm not trying to say you're a bad person, but that... I'm a bad person, sir. But that this has been happening for a good while now. Because yeah, you have I, concerns about... Myself. ...what's going on or what's driving right. you. Is there concerns of... Where's this leading me to? I was kind of. I mean, I really never, honestly, even today, didn't intend anything to happen. But that was one of the things I, I, I thought I quit doing it on my own, and I thought I should maybe get some help. But I never thought I could talk to somebody about it. But with your actions and what keeps going and you keep doing more and more, I mean, is there a concern there that? That's why I was thinking about getting help. That this is going to lead to more. That it's going to get more serious. I really never thought it would. We really never thought it would. What's your thought now? I still don't think it would have. But you're still coming and you're visiting a 13-year-old girl. Sir, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. But I don't think I would have done it. Deep down in my heart. All right. What I'm going to do is read this to you here. Okay. Okay. And then I won't cut you let you sign it. The undersigned, which is you residing at 2940 Millbank Road, Mainville, Ohio, is hereby voluntarily authorized Deputy J.S. Mullen and other officers he may designate to assist him to search, and I've crossed this out, your okay. residence, okay, to search my motor vehicle, namely my 98 Chevrolet Corvette, bearing license plate number DHX. 2176 of the state of Ohio, presently parked at the Dark County impound lot. Okay, and I further authorize said officers to remove from my. I'll cross that out and then out. Remove from my motor vehicle whatever documents or items of property whatsoever which they deem pertinent to their investigation, with the understanding that said officers will give me a receipt for whatever is removed. I have given this written permission to these officers freely and voluntarily without any threats or promises having been made and after having been informed by said officer that I have a right to refuse the search and or seizure. Okay? Sir, it's fine. Okay. 
Are you right handed or left handed? Right handed. Then stand up. Yeah, I don't know where you are, and we got these loose. But our policy, I need to come back here. Okay, I'm sorry. Especially since we're in a vehicle without a cage. Okay. Now what? Right now, you're going to be charged with attempted unlawful sexual conduct with a lawyer. I have a lawyer. Okay. I have a lawyer. You will have a chance to call him if that's what you wish. I mean, I don't have a personal lawyer. Somebody yeah. has to, I mean, I... You'll be arraigned come Monday morning, and they'll explain to you. As far as uh, what your charges are, and whether you seek court-appointed court counseling or what, they'll explain all that to you. Then. So I'll be in custody? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. No, not yet. Uh, yeah, get, take a quick picture of you. Yeah. Picture of the Yeah. Then we'll, we'll put these back in your pocket. Yeah. And give me your license. Can you put my pants body in the fall out of there? Yeah, that's fine. Um, Alright.
What's that? What's the phone number there you're calling? If nobody answers, we can drive back in a while. Jim.
Yeah. You guys have my cell phone. I can look up my mom's cell phone number. No, uh, cell phones have been seized as evidence, so I don't have them. Or I have access to them. They're not home. Um, that won't make calls to the cell phone anyway. Oh. They can't accept to collect calls on them. Um, most cell phones, it doesn't work. Yeah. See your signature right here. 